Hi, I'm Mark Calloway, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the wind analysis tool within Autodesk Former. For this, we have a simple project that consists of a multi story building with a tower at one end. I also have a second proposal, which is proposal B on the left hand side here. And for this one, we're looking at whether we should add a second tower or not. And we want to see what effect, if any, that would have on the ground around the building in terms of the wind and how comfortable that would feel to people um, walking by. So switching back to proposal A, on the right hand side, we have our analyze bar. We have a number of tools at the top here. For this particular example, we're interested in wind. As soon as I switch onto the, the wind tool here, Former will do a live, simple analysis. It's very quick. We can get some very basic information pretty much instantaneously. And we can see what effect the building or the proposal is going to have on the area around it. We can perform a more detailed analysis. There is a button here. I've already run this because it does take a good number of minutes for it to run through. In my case, about 20, 30 minutes where you can run a more detailed analysis. I can click the view history and we can see what that more detailed analysis looks like. I'll we'll just jump into that there. There we go. So we have our very quick and easy and get some results, pretty much instantaneous option. Or we can let the Autodesk servers run a, a full analysis um, and give us some more detailed and more accurate uh, information here. We can see that around this building um, the the wind is at a comfortable level coming back out of the more detailed analysis and back to our proposal we have proposal b we've added that additional tower on there and again you can see that because we're on the wind section on the analyze tab that farmer is going to try and run um, a very quick and simple um, analysis of the wind. We can see there's there's some red starting to show up outside. So there's potentially some issues here that this second tower is going to have um, on the wind around the building. Again, I've um, already run the more detailed analysis. It will take a good 20, 30 minutes to run through. So let's click on that and take a look. So for the most part, we're, we're kind of not too far off of the um, proposal A. Again, there's a tiny bit of red over here. We can see it's had a big impact on the roof on top. Again, if you're having roof gardens and stuff like that, it's going to have an impact, but we're not too concerned at this point. We're more interested in the surrounding area. Now, I don't want to have to switch between the two different proposals and have a look at them individually. I want to see them side by side. So we can go into our comparison tool for that and we can compare the results from the two proposals. On our menu on the left hand side, we have our option for compare here. I can go into compare mode. I have now two windows on the screen and I can see um, my different proposals and the tests that we've run on the left hand side. I'm going to select proposal A and I'm going to select the wind analysis that we ran in detail. And I can see that on the left hand side. I'm going to select the wind analysis on proposal B and I'm going to see that on the right hand side. I can navigate around the model and what happens on one proposal happens on the other. So I'm seeing both views side by side. And I can have a look at what impact any particular change is going to have on the surrounding area. If I want to pull out more specific information, we do have this inspect tool in the top right hand corner of each of the two windows. I can click on that. I can snap to any point and I can get some information out about that. Thank you for watching.